So today guys, I'm gonna show you how to change the PSU on your PS4. This is the fat version, original first release, 500 gigabyte, gigabyte version. Now the funny thing was, the other day I was in a game shop here in the UK, and one store was selling these guys still, the original square fat 500 gigabyte PlayStation 5. I do not know why I'm taking this side off for, because I'm just getting carried away with doing loads of other jobs. All right, so this is the underside. You've got four stickers here. One, two, three, four. Highly doubt your PlayStation 4 is less than one year old. So you need to take the stickers off. If it's less than one year old and you take these stickers off, your warranty is void. Okay, so this PlayStation has come off a few times and it's already been cleaned, but I need to do something else later on and I'll show you that on another video. But this video, back to power supply. PSU. I've got three screwdrivers here, a Phillips, a T9 Torque 9 screwdriver, and I've got a tiny little guy here. I'm going to do some surgery or some modification. I'll show you that in a minute. Now you've got torque screws here. One, two, three, four. Torque meaning. So you get your normal torque star-shaped six-pointed screwdriver there, but it doesn't have the hole in there, that's your normal. These are security ones, and there's that little pimple, nipple, weld thing in the middle, and that doesn't fit in there. So you need to get a special tool with the hole in there. Now what I do is I use this little, tiny little flat, go in there, and I actually break that little thing in the middle off. And then, my T9 absolutely fits fine. You see that? So if that other thing was still in there, it wouldn't work. Okay, so just gonna take those four off, guys. They're all the same size, so don't worry about it too much. Can't really go wrong. We didn't actually need to take that one off. We only need to take those three off. But here we go. So to take it off now, it clips onto this side. You see the PlayStation logo there? This is the back of your PlayStation. HDMI cable, USB cable, optic. So this is the back. You want to lift here and up. Can you see what I'm doing? There. Now when you come to put it on, don't try to put it on this side on first, it's not going to go on. And then don't complain in the comment section, oh, you can't get it back on. Look how easy it is to put on. There, there, bring it round, done. All right, let's take this off, done. Now, we've got five screws, torque, Phillips, torque, Phillips, torque. And we've got a tiny little cable here, slowly prise it off. I hear some power supply units got three pin, this one's got four pin. Even with this four pin, you don't know what type of power supply unit you've got in there. So you need to take this off. Same again, break the little pimple with the flat, this one, that one, and that one done these are now silver remember silver inside black outside these three are the same size shape and color now Phillips These go all the way through and connect everything at the top and bottom. Pull it here and pull it straight up. If you go to an angle, these little lips might get in the way and get caught, but it's still possible to take them off. Still silver. Now people complain, I can't get the power supply unit. It's really snugly fit in and it's touching a lot of things and it's got two pins here as well as catching on, which is the main connection. Now, 
main thing you're gonna concentrate is lifting it straight up. Don't go at an angle. Don't try to lift this side, that side, straight up. Now, it might catch. Try and grab onto something here. There, can you see? It's catching there, it's not coming out. So I'm not gonna lift this anymore. I'm gonna take this back down and I'm gonna use a little bit more wiggling here and then try and put more strength on this side because this side is already released. There and there. When you feel it come off, then go straight up. The main thing is those connection there and you see those two pins, you don't wanna bend and damage those. So this now, if your power supply unit has failed, this is what you want to replace, this whole unit. There's another model number here for this one is ADP240CR. So there's your model number on there. So you know exactly which power supply you need to buy. Throughout the evolution of PlayStation 4 over the eight years or so it was out, they changed and evolved and adopted the power supply, okay? Now, to put it back on, remember to keep this cable out and you wanna go straight in. And if it doesn't go in there, there's a gap. So just use a bit of force there. Make sure it sits flat. That one in there. Drop Phillips. Now remember the back to the right, that clips on first, down here, everything on, lift it up, it should be catching. Now to do this, now this there's a little trick to this, don't try to go in straight here, it won't work, because that's at an angle, that came out at an angle, because of the thread in there. So lift it up like that, and try and follow the body shape to go at that angle. There. That's it. So the flat head of the screw should be flat because this is at an angle, you see? So it should be flat with that. And the final screw here. Now if you took your stickers off carefully, you can put them back to make it look a little bit more tidy, like that. Because it looks a little bit neater, if anybody should look at the back. Okay guys, so that's how you change your power supply unit if it has failed on a PlayStation 4. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to watch more videos like this and more learn more about things around the home be sure to subscribe like and hit that notification button loads of videos coming up to help you with everyday things thank you so much and i'll catch you on another video real soon bye for now